Good morning, my dear students. How are you all today? I hope you are taking care of yourself and your mummies and daddies. Today is Tuesday, 28th of April, 2020. So let's see what are we going to learn today. We will start today's class with our English lesson. After that, we will do some worksheets for maths and then we will have some painting activity. And at the end, it will be your story time. And today we are going to read The Very Busy Spider. So students, are you guys ready for some singing? That's great. Do you remember our morning song? Excellent. So come on, sing along with me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a happy, happy morning. Hello, Yaya, how are you? Hello, Lela, how are you? Hello, Toshi, how are you? Hello, Khirad, how are you? Hello, Xander, how are you? Hello, Ariba, how are you? Hello, Suleiman, how are you? Hello, Maryam, how are you? Good morning, good morning. It's a happy, happy morning. Hello, Taha, how are you? Hello, Hazim, how are you? Hello, Minal, how are you? Hello, Miroy, how are you? Hello, Miram, how are you? Hello, Imam, how are you? Hello, Harun, how are you? Hello, Miss Kiran, how are you? Good morning, good morning. It's a happy, happy morning. Well done, guys. Good job. So, as we are going to read a story about a spider, so I thought, let's sing a song, song about it as well. So, let's start. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Well done, my kids. That was lovely. I hope you enjoyed it. My dear students, today in our English lesson, we will learn about letter formation for English letter P. After that, we will do some tracing and painting. Dear parents, the letter formation page is for you to check how to form a letter correctly. When your child writes alphabets, please make sure that the formation is correct. My dear students, the letter for today is letter P and its sound is P, P for pencil, P for pink. P for penguin. So now you will sing the Jolly Phonic song for the letter P. Excellent singing, my students. Now let's learn how to write the letter P. We will start from the top and make a standing line going downwards. Then we'll go back to the top again and make a curvy line. 
Good job. Now trace and finish the page by writing the letter at the bottom. Let's paint a ladybug. My dear students, as you can see a picture of a ladybug on your screens. So first you will take a pencil and trace the ladybug. After tracing, you will color this ladybug by using red and black paint. Today in our math lesson, first you will practice one-to-one -one correspondence with numbers. After that, you will count and color the correct number. And at the last, you will cut and paste the sunflower from the shortest to the tallest. Let's practice counting. Dear mommies, your children will need your help for this activity. You will need 10 paper cups and some pebbles or buttons. First, you will write numbers from 1 to 10 on the cups. Now let your child count and put the same number of pebbles or button inside the cup. Please repeat again to practice counting. Let's count in circle. My dear students, on this page, you will practice counting the numbers. As you can see, you have different pictures on this page. Now look at the first picture. What do you see? Yes, it's a boat. How many boats are there? One. So you will circle number one for this picture. Now let's move on to the next picture. What do you see in this picture? Yes, cars. Now let's count the number of cars. One, two, three, four. Now you will circle number four. Similarly, you're going to count the number of objects in each picture and circle the correct number. My dear students, in this page, you will learn how to put pictures or objects in correct order. So what do you see on this page? Yes, sunflowers. You can see different sizes of sunflowers. First, I want you to color the flowers and then cut and paste them in order from shortest to the tallest as it is shown in the sample. My lovely students, yes, it's the fun time. That is the story time. So today I'm going to read a story about a spider who is very, very busy all the time. So the title of the story is The Very Busy Spider and it is written by Eric Karp. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ba, ba, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. 
She was very busy spinning her web. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for swimming? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. cock a doodle doo crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web, just like that. Woo, woo, asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. The end. So kids, I'm sure you guys, you guys also get tired when you do a lot of work. And then you can have a good night's sleep. I'll read to you again very soon. Take care. So my dear students, I hope you enjoyed today's story and I wish you all the best for this week and may you have a blessed Ramadan. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.